50. I've been doing this for 15 years. It's not something that you could just earn through a quick school. Uh, so I, I have a lot of pride in what I teach. I find a big importance that everybody learns how to defend themselves. I start, even my kids, my own kids, I start them as young as my littlest, that's three right now. He, he knows a basic one-two punch combo. And when we play monster holding him down, he knows the only way to attack the monster, which is me, Big Dad, is to have his knees on the ground or wrap his guard around me and how to stay safe. So before I used to train because uh, I had that little little man syndrome, I wanted to prove myself. Nowadays, do, I, I more do it out of pride. The first time I did a fight with my family able to watch, uh, the kids rooting me on really felt good and uh, it inspires me every time I do a match. Even if I start losing, you can hear him say, get him, daddy, and going home and them saying, hey, can you teach me some of that? I think I do it more out of the uh, trying to be a good, good example to others. For me, fitness is one of my priorities. You gotta be fit through the whole core. We're not just talking just your arms. We're not just talking squats. You gotta be able to do whatever it is at that last minute. I do a lot of circuit drills. Uh, I don't believe in just running long distance. If I'm gonna run, then I'm doing some kind of Indian runs followed by push-ups, sit-ups. Uh, I do a lot of medicine ball, kettlebell workouts. Uh, I'm a firm believer on the whole core system. I do everything with my kids, uh, and when I can, I incorporate some form of uh, workout slash uh, martial arts self-defense. Pretty much my whole life surrounds my training but when I get home, I, I do have a good way of shutting it off. And it's like, this is family time. Uh, I pull out the board games like any other dad. And I, I think my strive every day is to feel like I'm giving something to somebody that they can use in life.